I'm Layla Bernard, creator of ConfidenceArtist.com. My specialty is robbing people of their self-limiting beliefs and excuses for hating themselves and conning people into living the life of their dreams. So today I wanted to talk about the gushy, kind of gross topic of self-love. I know that I am about done with hearing about how self-love is the foundation to all of our growth and development, but it's really true. And if you're anything like I was, you know, three, four years ago, I really thought that self-love was something that I would never have because I am a truly bad, wrong, terrible person. I have lied. I have cheated both on partners, both in dealings with other people. I've made stupid fucking decisions. Uh, I've drank too much. I've used drugs too much. I've taken advantage of people. I have manipulated people. I have procrastinated on projects. I have blown things off completely, let people down. I've squandered many opportunities and lots of talents. And if I'm honest, I have intentionally hurt people both physically and emotionally. So all of those things are reasons why I believed for many, many years that uh, I was somehow totally defective and totally broken and did not deserve to love myself or really have anything good in my life. I mean, I wanted the good things. I wanted to grow. I wanted to have this sense of inner peace and love but, um, yeah, I'm just not nice, not a good person. So anyway, I was stuck in that place for a long time until I discovered the teachings of my wonderful teacher, Dr. Carolyn Elliott, who writes about her teachings in her awesome new book, Existential Kink. Um, and sort of the foundation of Existential Kink is realizing that, you know, the fluffy it's all love, it's all good kind of stuff that my dark ass really wants to dismiss is actually truer than we dare to admit. It's really all love. All the things that happen to us are loved deeply by the ineffable, infinite observer inside of us, even the really dark stuff. And this idea totally blew my mind, totally changed my life, and ever since then I've been sharing it with friends and now clients. And today I feel inspired to share um, an EFT tapping technique inspired by a really sweet, and tender, sad text exchange that I had with a friend of mine. He's been going through some tough times and I have been doing my very best to help him recognize that it's all good, it's all fine. He's totally entitled to love himself. Um, but he's struggling. And, um, you know, today I was asking him how he was holding up after some dramatic things had happened in his life. And he told me that he had been fantasizing about selling his house, cashing out his 401k, leaving the country, going on a massive bender, and then ending it all. Which, if that's what he really wants to do, I approve, okay? There's no real reason why you shouldn't do any of those things, but there might be more exciting things that you want to take advantage of in this life before you peace out to get back on the wheel of karma all over again as a baby and have to learn all the like basics like walking and talking all over again. So anyway... He continues, he continues by saying that he's really tired of being himself. And um, I asked him why. Why is he tired of being himself? And he said the following, which I think many people can relate to. He says, I am tired of the work of trying to get better. Tired of self-sabotage. Tired of games. The games he plays. Tired of not really knowing who I am or what I really want. Tired of the same thing day after day. Tired of being ungrateful and obsessed about what I don't have versus celebrating what I do have. 
tired of knowing all the things that I've done, tired of being stuck, tired of failing, tired of being in debt, tired of working a meaningless job, tired of hurting everyone that gets close to him, tired of being a fat, smoking, overeating, porn addicted, lying, deceptive, inauthentic person. Tiring. It does sound tiring. Um, and in response to that touching message, vulnerable sharing of what is true for him at this moment, um, I want to share a tapping exercise inspired by the tenets of existential kink. One being that having is evidence of wanting and the other being that you can just get off and love every single stroke of life. So you may be familiar with EFT. Um, EFT is called emotional freedom technique and involves tapping ourselves on different meridians of the body. And so you may have heard of this before. You can just follow along with me. All right, here we go. Even though my ego is totally troubled by the things that I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my ego finds it so humiliating that I am a fat, smoking, lying loser who can't get out of debt and works a job that I don't like, the truth is that I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have hurt people by lying to them, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my days feel monotonous and I fill my time with things that I pretend that I don't want to be doing, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my ego finds my daily routines and habitual habits totally mortifying, I deeply love and accept myself just as I am. Even though I stay up too late eating food that I don't want to eat, watching shows that I don't want to watch, trying to make myself feel better, and then pretend that I don't feel better, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my lying, my deception, and my complete lack of authenticity about who I am and what I really do, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my heart is full of bitter thoughts of lack and envy and jealousy towards other people, I deeply, deeply love and accept myself. Even though my daily routines of overeating and watching porn and masturbating and draining my energy with things that I pretend that I don't like is deeply frustrating and humiliating to my ego, the truth is that I deeply, deeply love and accept myself. Even though my ego tells me that what I want to be is smart and wealthy and put together and healthy and fit and in an honest relationship with a great job and my shadow shows up and does all kinds of crazy things that derail all of my plans, I admit that I truly love and accept myself. Even though I drive my, my ego completely bonkers by defying its every wish for a normal, sane, healthy lifestyle, I deeply love and accept myself just as I am. Even though people are angry with me and tired of me and cutting me out of their lives because of my lying, cheating, bastardly ways, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I do things that I am embarrassed to be associated with and they cause me to lie and hide and disown myself, the truth of the matter is that I deeply, deeply love and accept myself. 
even though I have habits like overeating and smoking that my ego finds really disgusting, the fact of the matter is I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I am very critical of myself and others and pretend to be kind, nice, generous guy, but I'm actually full of spite and rage and resentment, I deeply, deeply love and accept myself. Even though I'm in debt and I spend too much money and I buy things off the internet that I don't even like once I get them and have no actual use for, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my behaviors have caused me to lose friends and live a life that my ego had no desire to live growing up, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I wish that I could make a big scene by ending it all, making a huge mess, pissing people off, hurting other people, lying, taking other people down with me, even though I entertain these dramatic fantasies, I deeply deeply love and accept myself, all of my habits, and all of my drama. <sighs> Thank you for being with me. Thank you for enjoying that with me. I really had a great time thinking about all the devious, terrible, countercultural, awful, ego, embarrassing, humiliating, shadowy things. Uh, I have deeply enjoyed loving them with you, and I hope that um, in practicing this with me, you also might find a little bit of peace. Thanks for watching, and to all you weird, broken, twisted, strange, dark people, I deeply love and appreciate you. <laughs>